Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Code with JavaScript 30 days challenge. Now we are uh, seeing the problem today in Lead Code uh, 2626. In the 30 days of JavaScript, today we are coming to problem named array uh, reduce transformation. You can see it here in the previous ones we discussed array map and array filter we created a polyfills for that now today we comes to another function named reduce now here the reduce they are just asking us to create it given an integer array nums and they are asking you to take it in a reducer function fn and take it an initial value and it should result the final result by executing this particular function in a sequential order so that means if i get it one two three four so i will pass this with an, uh, a function and the function returns with accumulator plus current value so which is like an actual reduce function so if i give one two three four initial value zero so zero plus one which is one and again one plus two it's not adding with the initial value the next time one will become the initial value one plus two which is three then three will become the initial value three plus three uh, which is four and then four will uh, three plus three which is six sorry uh, so the six plus four uh, it will become 10 so that that's great next uh, if i take it again one two three four with a uh, different function then automatically whatever the function they took based on the function it will actually add and it should also take it something called initial value so initial value the functional values two things it has to take it so how do we do it actually you can do it directly by using a method named reduce you can directly take it uh, the nums array and you can write it here the reduce method and you can solve it up using the reducer with the function comma in it and you can pass it those two values which is accepted right but instead of this now here please solve it without using the built-in array.reduce method. The same thing we did it for maps or uh, uh, filter. We have to do it here without using the reduce method. So let's create it a result value. Let result is equals to initial value. I'm just copying the initial value and I'm returning the result value. So this result value will be manipulated here. Let's manipulate it for let i uh, of uh, i of nums so that will take it like each and every value of the nums uh, then in that i'm just calling it res is nothing but uh, the function now you can see it here clearly the function will take it two arguments here the initial value okay and the nums value whatever the nums array here nothing but i so i can take it here the initial value people usually consider it as the initial value in it and the nums value as uh, you know i uh, but here the problem is if i go with the initial value every time it should not pass the initial value it should pass it the value which uh, for example here one uh, and then initial value zero array starts with one then uh, 0 plus 1 1 will become the next one's initial so it should get updated so instead of using it in it here you can use something called res which will make it sense let's try it up that's it so it's just the same uh, instead of using it reduce we can use the same way uh, in an, uh, our own approach so at the back end anyway the reduce will work it in the similar function where it will take it like it will create in a uh, duplicate rest value which will be updated automatically as initial value every time and it will call that particular function and it will update its value ultimately the result will be sent out the returned uh, it's like the polyfill which we created that's it for today and in case if you want have any doubts you can pin in comments and we'll meet you in the next with another lead call problem thank you